So here we have four cups and we will try to create some rainbow toothpaste. First of all, we will pour some vinegar. In the container, I've mixed half vinegar and half hydrogen peroxide. We also need to add some color. I am curious to know if you guys still like to see some experiment with uh, elephant toothpaste. Let's write in a comment if you would like us to make a really big experiment with elephant toothpaste. The key ingredient here is the pounder that is made out of potassium. For your information, the reaction is really hot so we cannot touch it for a few minutes. Let's mix it up and let us know which color is the most beautiful. Let's make an exothermic reaction. After seeing the result, I found that the foam looked just like a flower. Do you agree with me? So I've bought a beer that is made out of chocolate and I will dissolve it with water. I thought it would be cool to see the beer disappear in slow motion. I hope you will like. He looked resistant in slow motion, but in fact it took about a couple seconds to make him disappear. We will now try to make experiment with Pepsi and Mentos inside of this cup. We will first fill the cup with Pepsi and then we will add Mentos and try to make an eruption of Coca-Cola. There is a small reaction, but I was expecting more. We will now try to make an eruption using four mentos and a bottle of Sprite. It is now time for the main experiment with Stretch Armstrong. We will make him take a bath of Coca-Cola and Mentos. It is time to stretch him a little bit before the experiment.
to make sure that the Coca-Cola doesn't escape from the bottom, we will add some paper in the hole. We will now pour some Coca-Cola inside. So we need to add a little bit of soap and we will add a little bit of vinegar. Let's mix it up together. Inside of this red cup we will add baking soda and then we will pour some mentas. can barely see Armstrong. That was a pretty cool reaction. Let's find him. Now let's see how much we can expand the arms of Stretch Armstrong. To make this experiment possible, we need a hammer and some nail. We will attach both of his arm and both of his feet, and then we will cut it with a saw. I can tell you that he is made of something really resistant. In fact, his arm has never break after a couple minutes. The glue which he is made is really sticky. Boom! I thought it would be cool to cut Orbeez with this thing. Let's take a couple of them. Usually they use this thing to cut potato to make fry but then but now we will use it to cut our bees. I still have a couple of Orbeez left, so I thought it would be nice to blend them. I hope you guys have enjoyed all of those experiments. Don't forget to subscribe and tell us in the comments which experiment you would like us to do next.